the price of movie tickets going up to like over 10 bucks. Totally. Not, that? To, not to mention the price of popcorn, goobers, Diet Coke, parking, and even paying for a babysitter. <laughs> That's right. And then, okay, half the time you get to the movie, right? Yeah. And there's this long line, and then you get to the front of the line, and the movie's sold out. Oh, I hate that. that Me too. It sucks. So we decided that we review the trailer, so you don't have to waste your money on a crappy movie. That's right. And this week we're reviewing Mr. Woodcock. <laughs> oh God, I'm not gonna ask who picked that. <laughs> Me. I read all your books. All I did was give you the raft. You had to inflate it yourself. You are so amazing. Okay, crazy, move it along. But he's about to discover he's going to need all the self-help he can get. Hey, Mom. You're here! Are you seeing someone? Yeah. You know him already. Mr. Woodcock. Well, it looks like I'm going to be your new dad. Nice to see Sean William Scott back doing that raunchy humor that made him a star to begin with. Uh-huh. Dude, where's my car? Oh my gosh, I hope this is as distasteful as American Pie. Oh, I'll give you something to taste. Ooh, yummy! Oh, wow, gross! Wait, okay, wait. Screenwriters Josh Gilbert and Michael Carnes are known comedy sketch artists who are making their entree into this film. Well, you know, I related to that fat kid in the movie, you guys. <laughs> you're fat. Yeah, you know, I had a merciless gym teacher just like Mr. Wildcock. Woodcock, oh Robert. <laughs> Whatever. You know, he was a sadist too, but luckily he got arrested for making kitty porn. And now he's in the penitentiary where hopefully he's somebody's bitch. Ooh, I bet you those prison inmates have a woodcock for him. Dude, you can't. Oh. Just, can we watch the next clip already? All Good three idea. Junior high. <laughs> John Farley struggled to keep up. Are you gonna be a loser? No, sir. Rhetorical, Farley. I already know the answer. You are a disgrace to fat, gelatinous, out of shape little kids the world over. I can't hang on. Don't you even think about letting go. <laughs> oh, God. You can tell from that trailer that it's gonna be another offensive comedy with crude jokes and low ball humor. And you know I love those low hangers. It looks like it's in the vein of Bad Santa, and I bet Billy Bob, bad boy, is gonna add this to his resume, and it looks like a hit for sure. Oh god, I hope it's not another school for scandals. Oh no, no, I think because uh, director, what is it, Craig uh, Gillespie? Uh, he's a veteran with this kind of humor, and he's doing a good job, and not only that, I mean, it's got my favorite MILF, Susan Sarandon, oh, in it. Yeah. She's a milf. And then I love Amy Poehler from Saturday Night Live. She steals the trailer in this. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it four out of five trash cans. Wow, I just think it's great. Cute. Yes. This trailer is the shiznit. Yeah. They don't make trailers like this anymore. Nope. Uh, I'm sick of seeing a two minute trailer that tries to push some sort of social issue or a point across. I say bring on the movie that pokes fun of ugly people. Try to use the word retard in several different scenes. And allow a man to make love to an apple pie. <laughs> God bless Sean William Scott. And God bless the return of the lowest common denominator movie. And God bless America. <laughs> see that this trailer is geared towards men who like to snap jock straps at each other in the locker Ooh. room. In addition, it's probably good for the person who still has the fat one living inside of them. No offense, pumpkin. <laughs> Anyways, I don't recommend paying big bucks to see this film. In fact, I would just say put it on video demand or download it on the internet. I only give it three out of five trash cans. And remember, folks, watch, watch the, the movie, movie when the trailer's, trailer's free! free.